It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Terry to get the drive started and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29 just shy of the 30 five yards on the game's first play second down oh that was a thing of beauty right there look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped that was an o-line on a mission all in sync and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards <laughs> Right back to Singletary on second down. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Well, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something. All right, right this one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. McCaffrey running up the middle. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Here we go. Here's Lance to throw it. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Matt Milano firing in from his linebacker position. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. inside the 35. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. I know they got the first down, but Brandon, I still don't like the call going for it there. Yeah, yeah they got it. But I would have punted the ball there, played some field position. I mean, it's okay to end drives and kicks, right? You know, the, we've heard that from different guys before. Remember, it kicks either a punt, right? Field goal, or a point after touchdown. It's okay to end it in a kick. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. 
Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tyrell Dotson there on the tackle. Hey. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. <laughs> Throwing now is Lance. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they're going to give up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Dancing to his left. And they will get to him at the seven and stop him short of the first down marker. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. The center receiver in motion to the right. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Debo Samuel from three yards out. And the Niners post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Gold with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Throw left side complete. That's McKenzie. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. Middle, 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 middle. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Half 85, half 85. Alert, alert, alert. Half 85, half 85. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Regular, 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 regular. Five wide, five wide, five wide. Half, 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 half. Throwing on first down is Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Alert! Throwing again on second and ten. Allen, the left side caught by Diggs. He'll get it inside the 20. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away.
Okay, ready? The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Now Gray on the jet sweep. And, so, and now off to the races, down the right side. A big play there for the Niners. 58 yards. Ready. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, a six-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have taken the lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now, defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something, because right now, they're just cutting them to shreds. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope hey, hey, off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? He's got it to the 43 here. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now a timeout called for by the defense. Just their first in this half. We'll step aside and come right back. Right. Right. Ultra. Go ultra. Now Gray on the jet sweep. They find some open field here. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there just before halftime. And even 40 down. yards. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two. And now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. On the 
ground, McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Niners will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Touchdown, Stephon Diggs in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And only six seconds on the clock, Ultra. so time likely Ultra. for just one play. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Right, 97. Throwing his lance on third down. And that is incomplete. So it would appear they will not be able to add to their lead on this opening drive of the second half. Yeah, if another touchdown was scored there, 
Now we're talking about a two-score game, and they're probably on their way of creating an excellent gap between them and their pursuers. But how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one? And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Alert! 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 alert. Throwing on second and eight. Allen. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And the 49ers are going to have it here at their own 15. Lance and the 49ers now. First and 10 at their own 15. They'll send a receiver in motion left. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Ed Oliver through the line and hitting him for the loss. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Only a yard on the game there, and that'll set up third and 13. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Ready, go. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Now that one hurts defensively. Okay, right? They force them in the third and long, had the Peter, advantage. Peter. Yet they give up the big play right there. Now their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. Double, 38. Cut. Now here comes Ayuk on the jet sweep. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. On second down, McCaffrey. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 59 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there. Making the defense think it's going to be a pass. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards to pick up there, and also a first down. Final minute now of the third quarter. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Three, three. And Lance now to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. He's at the 40. 
The 20. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. This is almost what I've heard referred to as a pick 12. Pick 12, explain. Well, you're talking about the six that they were trying oh, to get. because they were so close right? to the end zone. And now the six going the other direction. So when you take a look at teams on the march, they're in the room. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now, you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now, with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. So now, one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Bass is good. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but a starting field position like that, three's not what you're thinking of. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball into the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. Fields it right around the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway as this offense takes the field again, CD. Remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The Niners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 98 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. That carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Because you give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Now Gray on the jet sweep. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to it. That doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. 
give right side McCaffrey. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. From the gun, it's Lance. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Partner, why were they even putting the ball in the air in that situation? I know they have confidence a lot of the time in their team. And, hey, we can call anything. And that's intercepted yet again. And that could be the backbreaker. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Ready? They'll give it up to McCaffrey. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Ultra, ultra. Handoff left, McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey from 17 yards out. And the Niners are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Bills are going to take over here at their own 22 yard line. After the penalty, a fresh hey, set of downs. It's first and middle, 10. Middle, middle, middle. Now, Allen. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And the 49ers are going to get the football here at their own 23. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Slot man moves right. Ready? Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. On the set. Third down. Here's McCaffrey. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. Oh, nice move. 
And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. So the victory here for San Francisco, and it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them in just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished.